here. I'm delighted that I have some, all my friends over here, but I'm really delighted that I have a few friends who I really wanted to bring them over to meet up, meet our other friends. So, I, so, so, so that, that's fine. So, so, so thank you all for being here. I really appreciate the fact. Uh, for, for the benefit of this, this program that is going live, my name is Samir Dosal and I'm the president of the Canada-Pakistan Business Council. We are delighted to, to welcome tonight our very special friend and supporter of the Business Council, Senator Salma Atalwajan. By, by now, the, the senator is a, is a veteran and I have had the honor and privilege of working together with her on many, many initiatives. So, Salma, thank you very much for what all you do and for what all you do for Canada. And at times, we all collectively get the opportunity to do something for Pakistan. So, so thank you for, for what you do. Uh, I have uh, next to Salma is uh, our very, very dear friend, uh, MP Paul Chang. He's also the parliamentary secretary. Uh, for the diversity and inclusion. And for all you know, Paul is from Karachi. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, most of you know uh, Anjum Nisar is a friend of mine, he's a brother, and we go a long way. He's very involved in the business community in Pakistan, and I'm so delighted that, that we get an opportunity to reciprocate and do things for each other. Uh, not on a personal level, but on a, on a well, personal level is, is really what we all, all the time do. But there are certain things that, that we, what we do is to promote bilateral trade. And that's, that's the real focus. And while, whilst doing that, Anjum plays a major role. There, there are people from the Federation of Pakistan Chamber of Commerce. Anjum has been involved with the Federation of Pakistan Chamber of Commerce. He's been involved with the Karachi Chamber of Commerce. And he, currently, he, he holds the position of the chair of the Pakistan-Canada Business Council of the FPCCI. So I would like to welcome Anjum and Bhabi for being here. And, I, I do want to acknowledge the fact that uh, our our mentor, our friend, Mr. S. Samunia, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, which I'm, I'm, I'm he's, he's in Pakistan and uh, missing him, but my greetings to him. And he's been a strong, strong supporter of, of all of us. And I, I and I acknowledge the fact that uh, Munir Bhai is is like friend, <coughs> family, and beyond. So for the last few years. Covid happened and what not and, and we one of our mandate was to promote uh, women empowerment and that that mandate took us to a relationship with with the Dowd Foundation and here standing beside me is, is an amazing a doer a go getter and a focused individual Tara Uzra Dawood. Yeah. Tara, if you allow me, I would like to acknowledge uh, your late dad, who recently passed on. And uh, Rafiq, Rafiq Bhai was a, is a friend, a mentor, and an amazing person. And I just, just wanted to make sure that I did acknowledge that, that role. And he was always there. He would talk to me, he would give me advice, and I really acknowledge that, that. And you you know that, and I really appreciate moving forward. So. Tonight was just to get together and, and, and have a little bit of a cup shop and dinner and break bread together. So we have got friends from, from our community. We've got friends from the Turkish community. We've got, we've got people like uh, Mehmet, uh, Mehmet, who's the former uh, Turkish, uh, Turkish counselor. We have people like uh, Ali Mirza and Virgul. Virgul, thank you for, <laughs> for being here. Uh, we, we have the, I, I, I made it a point to get some of the younger generation here as well. 
I I did, uh, and I and I want to acknowledge the fact that we have uh, Janice. Janice is part of the uh, Rom Foundation. So, so hopefully, inshallah, uh, by the end of this month, there will be an event, and you'll all hear about it. How Canada and Pakistan will be celebrating the 75 years. So that that's quite a step forward. By now. As we speak, uh, Dipali Diwan is in Pakistan, uh, attending the um, uh, Binale Karachi. And uh, she's probably meeting up with Amin Gulji and the likes and so on. And actually, I was supposed to go, but I actually stepped back because I wasn't sure what things were going to be uh, politically. But I'm still going. I will be, inshallah, going very soon. And uh, yeah. we will be working with, uh, with uh, Anjum and several others. And... Uh, We'll take this this situation to the next level. Uh, we have we have got youngsters. We've got uh, Sheryar. Sheryar, uh, his dad is much more famous, the most well dressed, the fashionable uh, Yaka Jamia. I've got uh, I can see Tanish smiling and. Zach, who's who's here. Uh, <laughs> part of the uh, the team wonderful work that you guys do i've got fezi and i've got friends uh, salim bhai is here uh, I, I do want to acknowledge the fact that uh, my very very dear friend wahab bhai and shinapa are also here uh, he's an accomplished artist and and inshallah you will, you will probably probably see him at the event at rom followed by the event which uh, which Janice has been promising, so we are not letting off. I, I definitely have uh, Shaista, who's, who's a friend, family friend, three generations, their partners in certain <laughs> ventures, and can do it. thank you Shaista for being here. Uh, and uh, I want to make sure that I have not missed out anybody, because I, Fezi, Fezi has always been with us, and Fezi is going to be joining us for several events in, in Pakistan. I want to send out greetings to uh, Imran Mehdi Gondal and uh, uh, Dr. Azgali Golo, who is the former council general and the uh, ambassador for Pakistan to Ethiopia. And he's also the president of the REMAX. So we'll be working on REMAX as well. Uh, I want to, most important, I want to acknowledge that what I do, what makes me look reasonably okay, is thanks to the courtesy of my lovely wife. So, 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 Isma, thank you for for being, 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 being for being for, for being what you do. Keep me in check. Keep me in check as well. And 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 and, and, and you know what? Uh, perhaps. Uh, so I want to come back to an event which was which 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 what we're going to do. This was not announced. Uh, I, I none of you guys know what what was planned. And uh, Tara and myself, we've been working on several initiatives on ladies' funds, uh, educate a girl, and even your other initiative, Lean in Pakistan, and, we've, and and the ladies' fund. So we're going going back and forth. The last several years, we've done stuff, and we decided let's. Let's formalize that relationship. Uh, and what better than, uh, than tonight that amongst friends, amongst... Uh, so, Salma, who has actually witnessed already two, two MOUs that have been signed. One was signed with the Punjab Board of Investment and Trade. The other one was uh, All Pakistan Business Forum. Unfortunately, Ibrahim Qureshi could not be here. So, Paul is here and you are here. And I want you all to join us in witnessing the signing of this this MOU, which is which is just simply to make that commitment to solidify and to to hope to see where we can do. When I became the president of the uh, Canada Pakistan Business Council, one of my major commitments was to do women empowerment. I I learned this from my family. I've seen my 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 women in my family take a major role, their contributions. Uh, my brother in, in New York, 
playing a major role in in the United Nations and and so on and so forth. So, this this is something that that I I cherish and I feel that we all need to collectively. So at the end of the day, I want Salma to say a few words. I'm going to ask Paul also to say a few words, and then I'm eventually going to have Anjum say a few words, and I'm eventually going to give the floor to Utada. Thank you, uh, Samir. I mean, uh, we go back a long way. I have seen the work and the commitment and the work ethic you have, and that's why I'm always very happy to support you. Um, Tara, you too. We've worked on Ladies Fund. We've done events together. So, I mean, I can't think of a better, you know, a group of people or two people coming together because I've seen both of you work really, really hard. And, uh, and you know, I have so much admiration for you, Tara, the work that you do in some of the most difficult areas. And Samir, you have taken the Business Council to the next level. So I'm very happy to be here. I'm here to support you in any way I can. And this relationship goes by you no know, water. We've known each other 20 years, maybe longer. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I, you know, I'm delighted. I don't want to date ourselves. Yeah, I'm <laughs> delighted to be here. I always tell, and you know, for everybody else, I mean, those of you, uh, you know, you're my strength. I always tell my community, you're my strength. I learn from you, you know, and I'm answerable to you. And uh, can I just say one of the studies that I've started, um, which I'm hoping will be my legacy piece. Um, as chair of the Human Rights Committee, I've started a study on Islamophobia because things are, I, just to share with you, I shared with my brother and he didn't know the fact that the most Muslims killed in a G7 country has been in Canada. And when I heard that, I was horrified and I thought it's my duty to do this study. So anyway, but we're here today celebrating and I'm delighted to be part of the celebration and more power to both of you. Thank you very much. अली मिर्जा एक की आवाज आ रही है अली मिर्जा की इतनी बड़ी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन नॉट टेकिंग इट अवे फ्रॉम यू अली मिर्जा की इतनी बड़ी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है जो उसने कम्युनिटी के लिए किए ही सर्व एज दाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द Ontario Business Council, and he now continues to serve as the uh, Vice President of uh, Ontario Medical Association. But besides that, his contribution education may or अच्छे अच्छे काम होंगे. He's tremendous. So yeah. So thank you. <laughs> give, one, give us a wave. Thank you. Some of man को beat नहीं किया अभी मैंने. He's a good boy. <laughs> He's a good boy. Yeah. Uh, back to Paul. Thank you so much, uh, Samir Bhai, for inviting me here today. I'm so happy. to participate in uh, tonight's event to be able to witness this momentous occasion for you working with the women in power as a member of parliament for uh, Markham Union will I'm happy to support women and I uh, women in leadership role I'm very very happy about that and what senator Salma just mentioned about uh, islamophobia as a government uh, next month we will be announcing our special rug rep for islamophobia and uh, which has been in working for a while and we've been working on that to have somebody that can represent canada the government of canada towards islamophobia so that's what we're working on and i'm happy to announce that but the names will not come out and at least yeah. until we do the public acknowledgement for that so can i uh, just yes. so when the islamophobia I I situation happened there were there were member of parliaments from our community also made an effort mm -hmm. and they brought back the bill uh, in in into the system and and i just wanted to acknowledge the fact that uh, a wonderful role was played by ekra khalid and uh, and it became very difficult for her as well uh, getting threats and stuff like mm -hmm. that so but uh, but the role we are all in our own different ways playing a role right well this, this is the courageous work that uh, women are doing in the leadership role and trying to uh, make positive change for all of us right so the government has listened to that and the government is changing things and i am the the diversity person in charge of making a change for that and i'm working on the national action plan to combat hate crime across canada so that's what i'm doing thank you so, and now we're going to announce it. thank you so much
So we just announced Paul as the member of parliament, member of parliament from Karachi, from Pakistan, but he's also the parliamentary secretary for diversity and inclusion. So thank you, Paul. Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm going to um, switch to uh, Anjum Nisar, my friend and my brother, and just to say a few quick words. And thank you. Uh, Honorable Senator Samba Janlas Atawla Sahib, Al Sahiba, and Paul Che. Uh, I know from Karachi, and my daughter's work with you, Samia. Several times, one and only Bobby I said. <laughs> Samir is a wonderful person. Normally, it takes me 10 to 15 minutes to warm up. <laughs> so, but since Samir has told me to be as short as possible, so uh, thank you very much, Samir Bhai. Uh, we are working together as far as the Pakistan Canada Business Council is concerned, and likewise Canada Pakistan Business Council. And we have done, uh, we have done some work, and he is. He has brought last time, not only on the economic sector, but also in the education area, which is very important. Last time, I think you were, we have a presentation uh, at a white hour, and you brought this lady, the chancellor from Algoma University. We badly need that, and one thing that we badly need in Pakistan right now, besides economy, is education. We must promote education wherever it is possible. So, uh, again, uh, I can speak of on and on and on, but I think the last person is not very much appreciated because he's in between the uh, dinner thing. <laughs> so, back to... Uh, so, so I, I really want this, this, this young lady who's besides me, she does an amazing job. I've seen her work for many, many years. Tara, the floor is yours. And Thank whatever. you. Uh, so, Honorable Senator Saab, Papa, and of course, MP Saab, and the amazing Samir Dosal and Anjum Saab, as well as all of you here who are each of you remarkable in your own way, and of course, the most remarkable of all is uh, the strength. <laughs> so, <laughs> strength of it all. <laughs> so, Always. as Samir was just saying, we have worked together for so many years. We actually, um, I had this dream of educating girls and started Educate a Girl through the Ladies Fund platform. And Samir was one of the very first people to say, how can we help? And the collaborations that ensued, as well as Ladies Fund speed networking events and power panels where we told the Canadian immigrant story. And we had the leading immigrant female from Pakistan, as well as other countries that we combined into a power panel showcasing that people can come neither knowing the language, having connections, and can rise to the best and top of the nation. And each and every wacky idea I had, Samir was the first to say, let's do it. And similarly, when we were doing during COVID virtual seminars, Samir is like, we have to partner for this. Under each of the platforms, any platforms under the Dow's Global Foundation from Ladies Fund and Educated Girl and our other foundation, uh, Lean in Pakistan Foundation, we actually had so many events. And we're talking even breast cancer awareness events. Whatever we did, it was consistent and yes. together. Yes. And so to me today, this MOU that was first proposed by Samir over three years ago was um, a brilliant and inspired idea, but it's only putting in writing what has already been happening in fact. And uh, although it is a surprise for all of you, Samir contacted me yesterday and said, guess what, you're coming over tomorrow and we're gonna <laughs> sign that MOU. And I was like, that's the same MOU, how cool is that? And then he's like, okay, now promptly draft it. <laughs> and, and so um, suddenly I was spending my Saturday night <laughs> studying and drafting MOUs, and then it was going through with a lawyer as well as another lawyer here today. In fact, that lawyer has got the camera in his hand right now. So we've actually done it very professionally on a weekend. And it's actually very simple though, because all we're saying is we love working together and collaborating. And may our dearest friends, even those in the most eminent places, as well as those in the most eminent spot right now, come together to share the joy of working together with people you enjoy working with for impact. And one of the best ways to combat, whether it's phobias, is trade, as mentioned, as well as art and culture, and also just meeting each other. And today, Samir and Isnadi's guest list is from across all parts of 
different ethnicities and different sectors and different backgrounds because it's about being together. So, so we thank you all and most of all, thanks to you. Thank you. So, so the MOU that, that she drafted, I must say, said, wow. She is too good. Very good. Well, that's so, three so years that, of that, law that, school. That, 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 that's what will happen. So, so, so we're going to work together. We're going to work on all fronts. And I invite everybody over here from the arts, from the education side, who I would like to engage with the Canada Pakistan Business Council on whatever formats, be happy to do that. And it will be wonderful. So can we just take a pause and go down to the other table and, and formally sign the MOU uh, uh, so that dinner can be served as well? <laughs>